Hi, Aquarius. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate. If a message is not for you, leave it for someone else. We're going to be doing without you. This is how they're doing without you. I will be pulling their hidden truth along with an angel message for you. And then at the end, we'll be pulling their sign. So how are they doing without Aquarius? What are they up to? What are they up to? Okay. Overindulging. I feel like this person drinks a lot or this person could have a substance abuse problem. Let's see. Why the nine of cups? Yeah. Three of swords. That's exactly what I was feeling. This person's kind of like hurting themselves through their selfish ways over indulgence. So I'm just getting like someone drinking away their pain. This is someone that tries to numb their pain with alcohol or whatever it is that their vice is. They're definitely trying to suppress their pain. I'm getting for most of you, it is through alcohol or some other substance. I feel like this person also, guys, you know, the Three of Swords is third party energy. tell you Aquarius if somebody chose another direction if they went another way they regret that and the regret I'm getting is the situation they're in is a painful one I don't think they truly want to be in the situation that they're in could be a Gemini for some of you but they've definitely they know that they chose so wrong, so wrong. Okay, whatever decision it was, it was the wrong one. So how are they without Aquarius, the hermit? They don't want to speak to anyone. They don't want to see anyone. They just want to drink. So they're just in their hermit mode, uh, but I feel like it's definitely not a healthy hermit mode. It's a hermit mode that is, you know, they're staying away from other people and just kind of not in a good place, guys. They're not in a good place. Virgo energy. You know, I feel like this person, they like to overindulge, especially if it is overindulge in drinking, because that's when they do their best thinking. That's when they feel, it's like when this person is intoxicated, they feel comfortable enough to let out some tears. They feel like they can handle the tears a little bit better that way. The chariot, Cancerian energy. So it's really someone without you, Aquarius, they're recognizing that they're moving in circles. Okay. And they really, it's, it's so crazy because they want to get out of the situation they're in and they're trying to figure out, they're like, how can I get out of this situation that I'm in? You just get out of it. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Right. But it's like, this person is making every excuse in the book to stay where they're at because this is someone that doesn't have the courage to take action on changing their life. They just don't. It's simply put. Yeah, look at that. The strength card at the bottom of the deck, the star, the knight of swords. Um, yeah, the knight of swords. They don't have the courage, guys. Believe it or not. Especially, you know, those of you that have put someone high on a pedestal, I just want you to know that this person, they actually don't have a lot of strength. They don't have as much mental strength as you do. They don't have as much courage as you do. This is someone that constantly repeats cycles in their life because they're afraid of those growing pains. Let's see. How do they feel about Aquarius right now? You know, this is some major energy to show up with where they're at, guys. I feel like this person is going through a major life revelation 
but they're having a hard time taking action on it. How do they feel about Aquarius? The Empress. Well, this is, they have feelings for you. They feel like you've outgrown them. I think that's what bothers them the most, is they feel like you're doing pretty well. That you've outgrown them. Yeah, wow. They feel like you've moved on. They feel like you are getting over them or you have moved on. Tell me more. King of Pentacles. They feel like you have found a stable place in life. For some of you Aquarius, they might be aware of any sort of success you may be having or they're aware of like whether that's success in a relationship or success in career or both this person is somehow aware of it seven of pentacles guys Aquarius I'm gonna tell you you took a very dark situation and you have you're transmuting it now this this if you guys feel like you're not in a great place now I'm gonna go ahead and predict for you you will be some of you guys are still laying the groundwork with the seven of Pentacles some of you guys are still planting the seeds some of you guys are still coming up with the ideas okay some of you guys are still exploring here others of you are a little bit further along I'm going to tell you, whatever seeds you're planting, I see big success in your future. I just want to point that out. As long as you nurture it, okay? Yeah. Um, you have to nurture it, water it, and give it room and space to grow, okay? But it's telling me that you are taking, you're transmuting the situation that happened, something bad happened to you, and you're going to make something great out of it. Look at that. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. It doesn't get no better than that, guys. You've gotten very clear with what it is you want. And you're going to do what it takes to get it. So I do see you guys, some of you guys are in this place now of feeling fulfilled and happy. Others of you, if you're not, no worries. This is where you're going. I'm seeing a breakthrough. Not only a breakthrough in like material success, but a breakthrough in romantic success as well. I do see a new love option coming towards you. You're, it's an option. You get to decide what you want to do with it. And I'm also feeling like there is somebody here that you may be realizing was just a big part of your success story. It's like the seven of pentacles. You may realize that whoever hurt you here is you're, you're going to be thankful for it to almost because it's like, it's making you a stronger minded person. It's making you a better person. And I just feel like Aquarius, you yourself feel that this three of swords energy was the seed that you planted that sprouted something beautiful and that could be future energy for some of you if you guys are not ex not you know not everyone's in a really great place right now and that's okay just know that's where you're headed but i just i see you mentally clear ace of swords you're very direct with what it is you want and you're going to do what it takes to get it I love this for you. Okay. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome? All right, we got this queen of, I'm sorry, king of wands energy. And then we got the six of cups.
I do see somebody reaching out to you okay the king of wands six of cups the energy is there for it and then we have the king of cups some of you guys there is somebody from your past here that somebody may be watching you from like a fake account for some of y'all Okay, I am getting that. But I see this person reaching out to you somehow, contacting you, expressing emotion to you. So it's like you will hear from this person again. Ace of Wands, I just want a further clarification. So a potential outcome, this person's going to take action and reach out. I'm just trying to figure out what it is they have to say. It says, I hide behind material things. I feel like those materials that they're hiding behind is their vices. Some of you guys may have children with this person. And, you know, the Six of Cups, it's like that may be where the reconciliation happens is because of a child. For some of you, not for all of you. But it's like, what I'm truly getting for you is your ability to handle the situation. It's like, especially those of you with, if you do have a child with someone, your ability to remain calm, your ability to not allow another person to trigger you. It's like, they can't, someone can't shake you the way they used to. And this actually is true healing, you know, because... If, if someone can reach out to you and you not get that racing feeling in your chest anymore, that's when you know that you are, you have really leveled up. Because I want to say, yeah, I see this person reaching out. I see some type of reconciliation here or coming back together. For some of you, it could be because of children, but I'm mainly getting your response to this situation is totally different. Okay, so what is Aquarius's advice here? What is Aquarius's advice in this situation? Keep working on yourself. Keep looking at the parts of yourself that you don't want to look at and keep investing in yourself. Hold on one second. Okay. Give me an angel message for Aquarius. You got expression. It says express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear or judgment. Say exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. So that's more advice. Just don't be afraid to express yourself. Some of you guys are literally turning this painful situation into an expression, an art expression of some kind, a creative expression. However you choose to do it, your advice here is to can you continue taking this this um, situation that caused you a lot of grief and, and anxiety and, you know, work with it. Use it uh, the way you can, the way you want to. We're going to do their sign now, Aries through Pisces. could be very materialistic guys you know there's nothing wrong with having material but I'm not saying that at all I'm saying that this person might just place their whole entire value and worth into you know what they materially have that might be how they define themselves okay 
Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries is defensive toward you right now. I don't see the Aries taking accountability for anything. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus wants to talk to you. I'm getting the Taurus feels connected to you uh, on a deep level here. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're held back. They don't have the courage to speak yet. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're closed off. Okay, there's a stalemate between you and a Cancer the rest of November. If you're dealing with a Leo, Ten of Swords. I feel like this Leo is in pain. Yeah, this Leo, it hurts. It kills them not to talk to you. It, it, it absolutely kills them not to talk to you, but their ego won't let them do it. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they want to come forward, but they wait for you to do it. If you're dealing with a Libra... I see communication coming from a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, uh, they want a fresh chapter with you. They want to start over. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is juggling. Uh, I'm getting the Sagittarius still hasn't made a decision. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I see spontaneous communication coming from a Capricorn when you least expect it. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, they are in love with you. Maybe you're just in love with yourself, Aquarius. That's good. But I see you in a relationship with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to talk. I feel like that's going to be very held back communication, though. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.